Yeah, hello guys, welcome to Ron's of Tutorial once again. I'm pretty tired today, it's pretty late, but I have to do this tutorial. Uh, to start with, I would like to advertise for my upcoming website, it's called Ronsoft.com. It's gonna be pretty amazing and way mind blowing. It has lots of stuff like hacking video tutorials, exploits, so scores of programming, and like for the sake of programming, I have a couple of programming languages that I'll be tackling, like a uh, PHP, PAL, C Sharp, and C++, uh, VB, uh, including Python and assembly language. Please watch out for it. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to have attractive desktops, even as you make tutorials for your viewers or friends. Uh, just like this, this kind of flashing stuff. You know, it reminds me of those movies that we used to watch, and uh, uh, we look at these guys having screens all over the room, and then. Uh, it's flashing all over the screens and you can't know actually what's going on so even in this tutorial this is uh, so this it flashes like time and a connecting to port 33 and it's like it's writing down tick -tick 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 -tick. so actually uh, there's no secret behind this the only thing that I had to do was behind a gif image and uh, oh come on let me just lock this sorry um, let's preview this you see this because it says connecting terminal connecting to port 23 username Ronnie Flay password dash 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 so actually the secret behind this is a gif I can use a gif to make any animation that I want then I can just uh, put it onto my desktop but how am I gonna do that I thought about this greatly when I was trying to uh, actually trying to figure out a way how I can fix my videos to be my backgrounds and I realized that uh, in Windows actually uh, I can do it with uh, the help of HTML HTML embedding HTML let's just go and have a look at what we're saying let's just make the basic HTML body HTML skeleton let's just build up a skeleton for ourselves sorry I have my head and then I have my just take it right here on my my title I'll call this this desktop desktop card right then I'll, I'll have to close it I'll have to close it sorry mm, okay then I just go to the end oh, oof. sorry I have to have my head closed and then I have my background as in my body <laughs> no background my body and then I have to close my body too mm, sorry I have to close my body oh, then lastly I close my HTML so having had that all done right kind of having had all this done we can just get in to link whatever we want and that's in this case I'm just linking an image right so I just get inside and try to link my image maybe the CRC and I'm just going to say it's equal to then inside here I'll just navigate to my to my uh, file that has my images come on my images and I have one right here right here oh 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 right yeah that's fine <laughs> so it's just right here and I'll say uh, let's go to my properties I'll look for the location copy it and don't forget to mark the name that is a terminal and this extension which is a gif so I just get out of here and just paste this and then Time in a oh. Time gif. Right. Get out of here and time in the width. I'll give it a 400, right? And then the height. My height. I'll just give this guy how much? Say uh, 200, right? Then just get out of here and save this. Right, but looking at all this, I just know my my image is going to come out with a white 
background and if I look here common sense tells me that if, if my wallpaper or desktop wallpaper is uh, dominated by black common sense really advises me to use a background that is black so that it can blend in so I just go ahead into my body and then I say BG is equal to color as in BG color is equal to uh, black right and that's my black will be the triple O triple O right then save it and um, yep I think you're ready to go ready to rumble and if I'm um, to, uh, to take these check it out in my web browser it will look just like that so we go ahead and try to embed it inside our desktop I go to desktop I customize and um, wave and I go to new for your case I'll go to new and then browse and locate wherever you've located oh, you've uh, saved your file for my case is mm, top at uh, the desktop I open and then I click OK but I already have it because it's the one that's running right here so I say I just say no I'll, it's just ticked in here I just want to demonstrate something for you I apply and then click OK so you see it looks amazing but when somebody just comes to, to uh, if I amount the, your mouse goes over it it will put this weird highlighting that pff, will make things look so fishy so how am I gonna eradicate that I just go back to properties and select this tab uh, then property uh, customize wave and then lock desktop items okay apply right so so that it's not bothered so guys I think this will be really so interesting for you to do you can just try it out with a more advanced features mostly I advise you to use a JavaScript I've, I don't have time to show you how it's really powerful and useful uh, and I'll just do that another time but for now I'm really tired but guys just don't forget to comment subscribe please subscribe comment and we need, I need your comments. I hope this has been helpful. Bye-bye.